This mass suicide victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of 2012. I thought we'd have more time. Sir, we recorded two underwater quakes at 7.9 and 8.2. So what happens next? We expect the formation of gigantic tsunamis, proportional to the magnitude of the corresponding quakes. Some of the natural disasters the audience gets to see are huge floods, tsunamis, and we knew that it would be a huge challenge in the movie. This kind of water is the single most challenging aspect of visual effects today. We worked with a company called Scanline to, to create the big water sequences in, in this movie. This sequence I was really nervous about because there you hand your destiny pretty much over to some visual effect people. I've never destroyed a washing with a tidal wave before. It was difficult because of these three shots with the aircraft carrier on the wave and how do you make that look spectacular. Basically everything is created by, by us and has to be believable all the time. Then there was this whole a sequence that a wave comes over the mountains of the Himalaya. And we all said, how will that look? When you read this for the first time in the script, you just think, how are we going to do this? It's the biggest of the biggest. Can this be visualized? Water masses rushing over the Himalayas into valleys. That's something that, that obviously has to be done uh, with visual effects. All the little details of where the water goes in every little valley and every little ridge and nook and, and cranny has to be calculated. When we saw first images, we immediately said, this has to be the teaser. If you look really closely, you actually see the monk in there. It's so beautiful, but also frightening. These waves are the biggest I've ever seen in the movie.